I needed open heart surgery. Hydrogen totally took care of my heart. I mean, it's crazy. My heart's totally fine now. I've worked with people who have spent years and many thousands of dollars trying to fix their gut issues. They did hydrogen for six months. Boom, their gut was fine. They couldn't believe it. She started using hydrogen. She started losing weight. People are going to be extremely skeptical. They're not going to believe you. They're not going to believe your YouTube channel that something as simple as hydrogen can heal all of those things. Hydrogen's going to change the world of medicine, agriculture, energy. It's going to change everything. It's the life molecule. They discovered that about 98% of all disease comes down to one thing and that is I unfortunately did it to myself multiple times trying to end my life and the thing that really saved my life was hey welcome to the Mark Devine show this is your host Mark Devine super stoked today to be talking about hydrogen and the healing effects of hydrogen when consumed with water or even in a gas form and my guest today is Greg wait for it the hydrogen man <laughs> that's his last name well, at least that's the name he gave us. So super stoked to have you here, Greg. Thanks for joining me on The Mark Divine Show. Greg, man, thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you being here, brother. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having me. So um, I want to get right into it. Like, what's up with your last name? Oh, just I've been attacked legally a lot. And considering how small my channel is and how small time I am, I'm just surprised how much I've been attacked, basically. Why, so, why? Attacked for, you know, making claims that people don't believe? Or what's the reason? You know, for these? the biggest issue is, I mean, all, I mean, this whole started just because I was really sick, like right. really sick. And I shouldn't even technically be alive right now. And I did actually work in the medical field for like two decades. And so I really understand actually how things work behind the scenes, right. you know, in Western medicine. And when I got sick... I mean, it, for me, it was it was absolutely horrible. It ruined my life. I, I like lost what, what, what was your illness? I had a ton of them. I had autoimmune issues. So I had extreme inflammation throughout my body. I had a heart condition that they said would end my life in 10 years or less, which, yes. you know, I needed open heart surgery for. My liver and my kidneys really weren't working, you know, optimally, you know, or super well. But the biggest problem was the amount of pain that I was in. I literally couldn't walk. And mm -hmm. so, and my joint pain, I mean, I still remember to this day, like a remote control for a television. I couldn't do this because my joints hurt so bad. And I mean, I just had a crisis. I mean, I, I was, you know, I used to be real athletic and it just, it broke me, you know, when you can't stand up and go to work or do anything, it was, it was very painful. What, what age was this when this kind of came upon you? How old were you? I mean, I started having symptoms. I mean, it's a long story of probably what caused this whole thing. Okay. But basically, I started having some symptoms probably in my late 20s. By my early 30s, I mean, it was horrible. Was it, um, uh, without going into too much belabor detail, what do you think the cause of the, the issue was, the disease? Um, because it's such a long story, basically, I think it was just poisoning. I've been poisoned multiple times throughout my life. Aren't we all? <laughs> at some level, right? Probably to a much more extreme level. I mean, I, yeah, I, it, I had a really rough childhood and, and, um, I unfortunately did it to myself multiple times trying to end my life. And, okay. and I think it took its toll because I kept surviving and, um, right. Right. So, and, and frankly, all, all disease, I mean, yes, there's the toxic element, but you can also make the claim that the disease starts in the mind, right? So if you're, if your mind wasn't right, eventually it's going to show up in all sorts of ways in your body. Yeah, that's also true. You know, the body creates a lot of actually nasty stuff just with stress. And I went through, you know, a lot of stress. So, right. yeah, it was it was very unfortunate, but it was really, you know, it's funny because I used to ask myself the question as a child, what's worse, you know, emotional pain or physical pain? You know, because they're both horrible, but in time, it was definitely physical pain. Physical pain is much worse because that causes emotional pain on top of it. <laughs> so, you know, I, I found the answer to that question, unfortunately, the hard way. <laughs> so back to this question, why people are attacking you. And so you don't use your last name at all, not even like what if you go to the bank? Don't they require you to, you know? Well, I mean, obviously the bank would know my last for that name. type of stuff. Yeah. OK. Yeah. For stuff like that. It's mostly just for public stuff, because, look, to be quite honest with you, I don't really have like an ego where I'm like, look, I want, I need people to know my name or I need people to know me. I mean, that's never why I started doing what I was doing. You know, the whole reason I started doing what I was doing was because I was so broken. I mean, I still remember again, the day it was the day that I was trying to turn on the TV and because I couldn't walk and I'm just sitting on the couch and I, and I just, I, 
I couldn't do it. And man, I just started crying. You know, it, it was a breaking point. And I remember making, you know how we make prayers at our at our lowest points. And I just prayed and I was like, God, if you can just show me how to fix this body, how, how to understand it better, how to understand what's really going on. I promise that I will share it with people because I do have a great deal of compassion for others. And I really want, I, I know that other people out there are suffering right now. I know that people are sicker than ever. And so I just made that prayer, man, something happened. Something happened within probably just weeks. And then just things started clicking for me and I started finding information that I hadn't found before. And, and I literally found my way out of illness and I created these protocols and I was kind of shocked at how easy things started coming to me. Like to me, it's health is actually not the most complicated thing anymore. Um, but I see everybody on the internet arguing about it. So I, I don't like to get involved with that, but I did end up opening the YouTube channel that I did and just share the information for free. I mean, I, I've helped countless people and the things that I've been able to, I don't want to say that I achieved them, but the things that I've been able to, the changes that I see that happen with people through protocols that I've created. And I always like to say, look, I don't give any medical advice. I don't make any medical claims and I don't make any claims for or against any product or products, you know, all that kind of stuff. I always want to be real cautious now, but basically it was all about helping people and bringing this kind of information forward. Hey everyone, this is Mark Devine, founder of Seal Fit and Unbeatable Mind. And I'm super stoked to announce that my new book, Uncommon, is due out from St. Martin's Press this summer, July 16th. And we've launched a pre-order campaign. You can learn more about that at readuncommon.com to try to get early awareness for the book, which I hope will help a lot of people, where I go and do a deep dive on the five mountains of personal mastery, physical, mental, emotional, intuitional, and spiritual. Uncommon, simple principles for an extraordinary life. Check it out at readuncommon.com and thank you for your support and being part of the change that you want to see in this world. Hoo-ya, divine out. Things that I think are really important for health are actually um, water. And I mean, just clean water. Everybody argues about water and what's the best water. And to be honest, I think the answer is quite simple. You want clean water because I have a lab report. I mean, I have, I have all sorts of um, information. And, I, and I, what I stopped doing was I stopped listening to other people's opinions. You know, because I mean, I'm open to their opinions, but you hear one one you know, person say, oh, alkaline water is the best. And then somebody else says, no, structured water. And then some, and so everybody disagrees. And so I just started looking at lab reports, you know, and I just started looking at um, third part lab testing and seeing what's actually in water. Here's a bunch of just stuff in water and pages of it, by the way, pages of just chemicals and crazy stuff. And you'd be surprised what's in the water. There's no, there's no, no wonder people are sick. And, you know, I mean, that's just, that's just a start. And so I really started with water and eventually that led me down a path of that which becomes water, which is molecular hydrogen. And the Japanese, I'm in Japan right now um, because I came here because of the water. These guys are water experts. They, they know more about water, I believe, than anybody in the world. And it, it is unbelievable the knowledge they have about water here in Japan that I think the world doesn't know about. And so then I figured out first how to clean the water. Now, I, I don't mean no water filter because a normal water filter, I, be, I become a water expert, by the way. I, I know every water filtration, you know, I know water, every water filtration modality in existence. And they're not all the same. And it's very important. I mean, there's even lawsuits. This is the kind of people that don't like me talking, by the way. There's lawsuits against certain water filtration companies because of not only claims, but I've literally seen lab reports where their filters contaminate the water. And so this is really important. And so these are the kind of comp there's companies, especially hydrogen companies, they hate me because I'm exposing, and those are a lot of the people that go after me too. They don't like me talking about their products or what's inside of them. And so this this is this became a really big problem because in the world of health, and again, I'm not naming any products or anything, but I'll just say that in the world of health, so many of the things out there that are deemed good for your health, in my opinion. Are actually bad for you and, and they're, it's almost foolish to use this stuff and you're literally paying money to make yourself more toxic and not really help yourself out and health is not that complicated um, and you don't need a million products and a million machines in my opinion and so this caused a lot of problems because a lot of companies want to sell products and so they don't like me saying anything against you know certain things so that's really interesting so if you're drinking tap water stop but then, like, what, what is the best source of water 
Does it have to be something that you filter yourself or, or, or are there good sources of water? Uh, I guess it probably depends on where you live too. You know what? It's really it's easy, Mark. Really easy. And nature. And so when I study, I look at, I'm, I'm a data-driven guy. So I look at a lot of scientific data, but I also learn by observing nature. And ultimately, nature showed us how to do it. Um, proper water filtration starts with hydrogen. It actually starts with the sun. The sun hits the ocean. The steam begins to rise. And basically, the only way to fully purify your water to 99.999% purity and to clean every virus, bacteria, and parasite out of water, because no water filtration system does that, by the way, except for what I call carbon distillation. And the good news is it's not even that expensive. And so, I mean, I could tell you the one that I use if people want to know, but, you know, carbon distillation. What, what is it, just out of curiosity? Um, it's a website called mypurewater.com. And if people want a discount code, you know, I do have a discount code, you know, it's uprising 144K, but carbon distillation is the way you clean your water. And so how does hydrogen play into carbon distillation? Um, so again, nature uses the sun, and the sun is basically made of entirely hydrogen. I mean, it's made of helium too, but helium is also, uh, it's basically this, just another form of hydrogen. And so basically that's how nature does. And now a distiller can't exactly do it like nature, a carbon distiller. So it uses two forms. It uses carbon and the process of distillation. And then, of course, lab reports to prove what they do. And there's a lot of distillers out there. Um, I'm not real fond of all of them. This one, the distillers are made in America. And they use different different grades of stainless steel. And I do my research when I look for a product. And, uh, and that's what I use. And carbon distillation will clean your water completely, no matter where you live. It doesn't matter. It will absolutely clean your water completely. And so that's something that, that's the, that's just the base, Mark. I mean, that's just the base. You know, after that, then there's things that I add to the water. And, and the thing that really saved my life was molecular hydrogen, because then you learn how to dissolve the gas. And, I, and you do need an extra, a different machine for that. So I only have a few devices. You know, I clean my water. I have my hydrogen device. And then I have a blender, you know, to make some food and different things. But I don't, I don't need a million things. So let's talk about the hydrogen. What does it do? I mean, like what, and, and so what did it do for you? Um, and what are the, some of the other health benefits and how does it work? So basically molecular hydrogen, there's a lot of things that we have discovered, but we don't know actually exactly everything that it's doing, but we know that it functions as an anti-inflammatory. We know that it functions as a selective antioxidant, a very unique one, by the way. A lot of people don't know that antioxidants actually come in different sizes. I'm not sure if you're even aware of that. I wish I had a chart for you because like vitamin E, vitamin C, glutathione, all these different, you know, antioxidants are different sizes. And when you compare them to hydrogen, hydrogen is so tiny, it can literally get into any place in your entire body. And it's, if you make it correctly, here's where the big issue comes with hydrogen. I mean, water filtration, you think that's a tough, you know, thing to navigate. Hydrogen devices are extremely difficult to navigate and understand. It gets really complex because I had to learn about the science of metallurgy, like the science of metals. I had to learn about literally engineering and understanding you know, the equipment and all the different ways of making hydrogen. So that's why I became, on, on, online I'm known as a hydrogen man, by the way, I'm not sure if you know that, but that's, that's what I'm known as because again, hydrogen saved my life. I needed open heart surgery. Hydrogen totally took care of my heart. I mean, it's crazy. My heart's totally fine now. And it's one of the things that it's actually medically approved for in Japan. I mean, this thing is, hydrogen's already medically approved in Japan. And, and, the, and the world doesn't even know about it. I mean, we're not talking about 50 studies on hydrogen. We're talking about over 2,000 studies to date. And the studies that they've done and the research that has come out is unbelievable. But I ended up creating, I actually created a protocol because obviously I, I kept fine tuning, you know, my craft here. And I actually ended up uh, creating the protocol that works best in the world, actually, from the studies. There's two studies so far that have proved that my protocol works best. But I keep doing things that other people, I guess, didn't think of doing. And that is, you know, we use water as a carrier for the hydrogen also, because you're actually dissolving hydrogen as a gas. And this whole thing is complicated, but I've done my best to try to simplify it, like on my YouTube channel, to just show people how easy it is once you know the answers. To find the answers, it's really hard. But once, once you find them, it really isn't that complicated. And so, yeah, it, it, it took care of, like, for example, 
just to give people some examples of things that I've seen with like family members, friends, a lot of different people. Like somebody close to me had arthritis, they had glaucoma, they had blood pressure issues, cholesterol issues, and and uh, diabetes. Hydrogen made all that go away. And again, I don't. I'm not making claims. I'm just saying that's what happened. How long did my... it take? How long does it take for that type of healing to, to occur? You're talking years or months? It literally depends on the person and depends on the protocol. So a nice window of time for the average person is six to eight months. So six to eight months, and you just you do it regularly. It's almost like taking a vitamin. You know, you just do it regularly every single day, like drinking clean water every single day. And for a lot of people that don't know, and this is another way that again, I'm always learning and trying to uh, um, apply things is this actually happens in nature again. Have you ever heard of a place called Lourdes, France? Now, I don't know if you know this, but you know, they have a lot of people who drink the water from their claim miraculous healings. After a while, they started sending scientists because it was ridiculous how many people were saying they were getting better from that water. And the scientists couldn't figure anything special about it. They said, it's just H2O. There's nothing magical about it. And it was the Japanese, because the Japanese are, they're amazing people. And they look at these details. They're so detail-oriented. And hydrogen's really hard to detect. And they actually discovered that the water in Lourdes, France, has really high levels of molecular hydrogen in it. Now, they didn't know what that would do, but they actually started doing lab tests on animals to see what the hydrogen would do. And that's when they started seeing amazing things. And that's where it all really began. And so this actually happens in nature. So it's not just, you know, it's not like somebody just guessed. Right. So when you, um, you purify the water and then you, you can, you make this hydrogen and then you inject it into the water, walk us through the, you know, the Mark one motto, you know, beginner's guide to how, to, how does this work? So the first thing is I just clean the water, right? So, you know, carbon distillate. So now I have clean water. Now, the equipment that you use to dissolve the hydrogen gas into the water is where things really, really matter. Unfortunately, almost every machine out there, or the majority of the machines out there, they're made in China. And I discovered that the metals that they were using, they were plating metals, which you really don't want to do with hydrogen. They would use low-grade stainless steel or even machines that use lye or sodium hydroxide. I don't know if you know what that is, but that's that's the main ingredient in Drano. It's like horrible stuff. And believe it or not, companies actually use that to make hydrogen. I mean, it's in my opinion, it's pure stupidity. And yet people buy into it. And I've seen people get sick from it. And and this is, again, people don't like me saying these things, right? But I the, the thing I want for people is people to get well. <laughs> I don't want them to get sick, if, especially when they're already sick. And people prey on those type of people. And so anyway, after learning a lot and studying, it led me down a path and it led me to this specific machine. And I thought, wow, why did this machine fit? Why is it doing everything right? And nobody's doing this. It turned out it was the number one hydrogen machine in all of Japan and basically in the world. And I didn't even know. So I found this machine um, and I had tried already many machines and I really wasn't getting the benefits that I was thinking I should based on the scientific data. So I tried this device out and that's when my life changed. I mean, that thing just, it obviously got rid of my heart condition and improved my health so much. And then I started modifying the protocols on how to use the hydrogen based on data. And then I started, you know, seeing how it would affect people like my loved ones. Like my father was a really big example because my dad was suffering a lot from his arthritis and all sorts of different issues he had. And when I saw what it did for him too, it just blew my mind. Even people who are skeptical, like my mother, she's like, drinking water isn't going to get rid of all his medical problems. <laughs> and uh, and when she started seeing the changes, she became a believer too. And, and it just, it was unbelievable. And the world really doesn't know about it. I mean, some people know about it, but there's like gimmicky stuff. I wish I had it for you. There's like these little tiny bottles. They became really popular because Joe Rogan talked about them, but they're just cheap little Chinese bottles. And so many things in the world of hydrogen, in my opinion, are kind of gimmicks. And if people want to join gimmicks, you know, that's fine. But my concern is always if something is potentially detrimental to somebody's health, it just hurts. You know, it, it hurts me because of what I've been through. And I just so I expose a lot of this stuff. And, yeah, people don't like me talking about it. And back to the process. So this yeah. machine, what's the machine called? It's called the Lourdes Hydrofix Premium. It, the official company's website is called holyhydrogen.com if people want to look at it. <laughs> That's a good name. Holy yeah. Hydrogen. Um, so it it dissolves mm -hmm. the hydrogen into your purified water. 
in a very specific way, by the way. It's not just, yeah. I mean, the, the machine, the way it does it is absolutely brilliant. What does it do? Um, Can you describe it's it? It's super brilliant because what the Japanese did is, um, so they literally looked at every single modality of dissolving hydrogen gas into water. And in the end, there was really only two ways that were safe. See, here's where we get back into the safety part of hydrogen that people don't like to talk about. And the company actually chose the hardest way to do it. And they were literally told that even the metal they wanted to create was impossible. So this company's done the impossible. They're kind of like the Tesla of hydrogen machines. They just really have done amazing things like SpaceX and stuff. And so they developed not only a special metal, but also a special membrane. So the membrane's a major problem. All these devices out there that use what they call SPE membranes, and, and I'm not making any claims, I'm just gonna say this is my opinion, okay? But I have seen lab reports. I mean, they have PFAS in the membranes from what I've seen, in my opinion. And I don't know if you know what PFAS is, but it's a very nasty chemical. And, uh, and even at the lowest levels is known to potentially cause cancer. And so why in the world would you use something like that, right? The Japanese did lab testing. They realized that this is something that was in these membranes. So they developed their own. Um, and so everything is a one-off. So it's kind of expensive to do. Um, and to be honest, for the price that they were able to do it for, I was pretty impressed. But anyway, so they also created, um, they kept improving the technology. They, in fact, I haven't even released the, the video yet. They developed a new technology that they're calling sticky hydrogen. I mean, the hydrogen is a little sticking to all this stuff. And it's amazing that it's doing it and reaching levels in the water that technically we didn't know in the world of science was possible. Um, and I was going to release a lab report on that. I actually have the lab footage. I requested it from the company because the company does something that no other hydrogen company in the world does. There's a reason that they're number one, right, in Japan. I mean, you don't go number one in Japan if you're not like really, really the elite of the elite. And every single machine they have gets lab tested and certified. And no company in the world does that. They're the only hydrogen company in the world that does that. It's too tedious way too expensive, requires special equipment. That is I'm still trying to get to like yeah. what is actually happening. Like what's, what's the process, molecular process, break it down, like what is actually happening? What's the machine do? How about I simplify it this way? As far as how it improves your health? What's happening molecularly? Like what's the process? We're, we're all smart here. Tell us what's actually happening. What's this machine doing to create hydrogen and to get it to bond or, or you know, stay in the water in a stable state? So basically it has two chambers, one where you extract the hydrogen from, the other chamber dissolves the gas, again, in a specific way, to have full saturation of hydrogen gas. And nanobubbles are really important in this process. So it dissolves hydrogen gas yep. into the water. Yeah. At a, again, at a specific level, full saturation. Levels are very important, by the way. And there's a lot of false claims out there about levels. But anyway, um, so you have full saturation and then you drink the water. And it's really, quote unquote, that simple. How, now, much machine, you, how much do you drink? Do you drink one glass a day or do you, is it all your water now, this, this hydrogen water? I mean, personally, I would do all my water. But in order to get the proper amount of milligrams of hydrogen, in my opinion, from such a device, you'd probably want to drink about 1.5 to 2 liters of water minimum, you know, a day to really get the proper amount of hydrogen in you. And then the device also has a special option where you can inhale the hydrogen gas. So then you can just inhale the gas too. And that has a lot of positive effects on the lungs, the brain, sinuses. I mean, I've literally worked, I have pictures of it. I've literally worked with people with dementia and Alzheimer's. And we know that in the medical establishment, they say those things are incurable or that we really, you know, can't really technically improve them. And again, I'm not going to make claims, but you can see the testimonials. They're pretty wild. I mean, it, even I had a hard time believing them. And so what I think ultimately happens, just to really simplify it, the Japanese they had a massive list of all these medical problems and that they had seen through all their research that hydrogen had a very positive effect for. Then they had a list of all the pharmaceutical medicines that you would use for these medical problems. And the list became, be, began to be huge as far as the amount of pharmaceuticals because they give you a ton of them, right? And then they just showed one dot, which was hydrogen. And they said, how can hydrogen have a positive effect and even work better than a lot of pharmaceuticals for all these medical issues? How's that possible? Even the Japanese thought, this doesn't make any sense. And in order to, to really figure it out, they discovered that about 98% of all disease comes down to one thing, and that is oxidative stress. It's a form of a free radical, you know, ROS, reactive oxygen species. And oxygen 
has a weird relationship with hydrogen. So what it appears that happens is you have free hydrogen because a lot of people will say, well, water already has hydrogen, it's H2O. It's not free, meaning, you know, it's so bound. you understand. Yeah. Yeah. And so you ingest this hydrogen and it seems to literally neutralize these free radicals. I mean, that's literally what it begins to do. And it's so permeable. That's the difference. They can literally go to, to anywhere in the body. There is no place in the body that hydrogen cannot reach. This stuff will go through anything. I mean, it'll go through walls. It'll go through metal. It'll, it, it's the craziest thing. And so it reaches every part of the body, begins to neutralize these free radicals. And, and I mean, and it's almost that simple. Beyond that, my protocol is just, you know, clean water and, and a good diet that is low in chemicals, you know, organics as much as possible and overcoming nutritional deficiencies. That's how simple I created my protocol. And I'm not kidding you, the things I've seen it do for years, I've been doing this for years and um, very few people find my channel. Some people think it's kind of been suppressed, but. We were just talking about that, how these, these big companies are probably suppressing and, and pushing or not allowing um, health related information and even like really positive information. And said another way, they're promoting the, the fantastical and the, the fear porn. Ironically, I've, I've, I've actually been a little surprised myself. I've had multiple doctors contact me after they've seen changes with their own patients. I had one doctor contact me. I mean, I've had, I have, there's so many stories. Um, I had blood work myself. I get, I get blood work regularly, mostly just to check for nutritional deficiencies to see where I need to modify things. Um, the last phone call I got, this doctor called me. And if anybody's ever worked in the medical field, typically you don't get a phone call unless it's bad news. That's just typically the way it works. And they don't call you if there's nothing wrong. Well, when I got the phone call, I got worried. I was like, whoa, what's what's going on, doc? You know? And she just told me, she said, I just wanted, I had to call you. She said, I've never seen blood work in 30 years of doing this job. She goes, I've never seen blood like yours ever. And she said, I had to call and I had to find out what you were doing. And I thought, okay, that's kind of odd. But then I found out, and this is one of the main reasons doctors tend to contact me is she had sick relatives. And she wanted to know what I was doing in order to help her relatives. And I've, I've actually gone through that a lot. Most of the doctors that have an open mind and reach out is because either they have a problem or a family member has a problem. But they've seen my, my protocols work. And that's usually why they contact, not because they found me on YouTube. It's always, you know, or somebody who knows somebody. So it's not really getting out there mainstream. But I mean, I do have a YouTube channel, but it's pretty small. But Obviously, in the future, I know it's I know in the future, eventually, I, I would hope that it pick up. I mean, I made a that de I dedicated, as I told you, I made a, I made a promise, you know, I prayed, I said that I promised that if I find my way, I will help others. So I've done that. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing it for because I've been doing it for like a decade already. I've been already doing this for like 10 years. It's interesting. It's such, it's just so simple. It's so simple, right? It's like Occam's razor. It's so simple. You know, yep. eliminate the oxidative stress. The, the hydrogen obviously does something. It must bind with the, you know, the free radical oxygen and just, you know, gets flushed out of the body. Everything comes back into homeostatic balance and whatever was out of balance, which shows up as disease, gets healed. I mean, it, it actually makes all the sense in the world, but it's 180 degrees out from our, you know, Western medicine, which has trillions of dollars at stake, right? So it's no wonder they're... They're not going to be promoting this, right? Because the entire pharmacological industry would be wiped out. I wish I could show you some of the footage. I mean, I'm not kidding. There was a person who hasn't been able to walk for a very long time due to Parkinson's. I just had footage recently of them starting to walk again. I mean, the things that I've seen this do, it's hard to believe. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I mean, it's... It, it I, really I think most people are going to be extremely skeptical. So this has got to be one of those, you know, yeah. study of N equals one. You got to just try it out because people just aren't going to believe... They're not going to believe you. They're not going to believe your YouTube channel that something as simple <laughs> as hydrogen can heal all of those things. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments even on this podcast from people just laughing it out. Uh, well, you know what I would recommend, though, to people is to go read the scientific evidence. Um, like I said, it, it is already medically approved. I, I mean, I could share all sorts of interesting things with you. Like um, one thing that the Japanese do with hydrogen that, again, is they're already using it medically. They literally have it in an ambulances, Mark. Do they really? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's again super fascinating. One of the, one of the things that they use it for is strokes. So see, I think I okay. To be quite honest with you, I think I've discovered some really big stuff about hydrogen that even the medical establishment doesn't really understand or know. I mean, I made some really big discoveries. I just haven't shared them. 
um, for numerous reasons. But one of the interesting things is there's an interesting scriptural verse that says life is in the blood, right? Now, if I were to put a rubber band around my arm, my arm would literally die, right? If, if Because blood's not able to go through there. Now, if you have a stroke and you're not getting proper blood supply to a part of the brain, what happens to that part of the brain? It literally begins to die, right? It's that simple. The Japanese discovered that if you put somebody on hydrogen gas, which is why they have it in some ambulances, the hydrogen will go literally to the brain and it will go to that area of the brain and it will keep it alive without blood. I don't know if people understand how big of a deal that is, but this is a really big deal and it's very different than oxygen. See, oxygen oxidizes. Technically, oxygen is kind of death even though we need it for the cycle of life, so it's important. But there is such thing as oxygen toxicity, you know. Yeah, we um, used to get that in the seals if we um, dove below 40 feet on pure O2. So we had to stay, you know, 40 feet above. I'm so glad you brought this up because, see, I have deep understanding about this. What, I don't know, do you know what they actually use for deep sea diving? Helium or heliox. And they use helium. Hydrogen. <laughs> Probably hydrogen, yeah. Well, that's what it is. It's, it's, they use helium and they use hydrogen and they just use barely a sliver of oxygen. Why? Because it's non-toxic to the body. It's less toxic. And so there's so much to learn about hydrogen that, again, I don't think people really understand. And, and, and there's even, honestly, there's even a spiritual component to it. And I don't go into that because I try to stick into the scientific data. I'd like to just, hear your theories on that, though. You know, hydrogen is what I call the ascension molecule because, so for example, we do have something they call the pineal gland, right? At the center of the brain. Of course. Mm -hmm. Nothing reaches it like hydrogen and nothing liberates it like hydrogen. And I've already been experiencing it, to be quite honest. I just, I don't talk about it a lot. Um, but if you were to take so oxygen... you're saying um, if you breathe hydrogen, I mean, if... Not the will it will the liquid hydrogen affect the pineal gland or just the um... um they both they both will so this was part of the protocol that I actually created. I realized that if you use both in a specific way, it enhances the hydrogen even more. And then once I release that, this is the reason I don't release a lot of information on my channel because it just gets stolen. Um, there's there's very few people that watch my channel, but a lot of them are people who take all my ideas and then they take credit for them, and and that's why I just got tired of doing that but basically the protocol that I created it's already out there now is you drink the hydrogen water in an empty stomach okay and then when you inhale the gas after drinking the water it actually does even more than either one of those two things do on their own so it started creating even more crazy benefits and I mean it's been it's been unbelievable but so you've experienced uh, this opening up that six chakra of the pineal gland and you've experienced greater spiritual awareness? Yeah, there's been a lot of spiritual components. Like I said, it's the ascension molecule. So the, the huge secret, I'll tell you one of the big secrets um, I'll be talking about more in the future. Have you ever heard of the age of Aquarius? Mm -hmm. Of course. So what I believe the age of Aquarius really is, like what's coming in our very near future, by the way. And a lot of this is because, dare I say, I mean, look, the hydrogen... Hydrogen can talk to you. I know this is sound. Now I'm going to sound Looney Tunes. Have you ever heard of this book? I know. Oh, I know. you know Check what? I was going to ask you about that earlier. The Japanese guy. Yeah, the hidden yep. messages in water. Oh, I totally read that a long time ago. It's just fascinating. And when I drink water, I bless it. Yep. And I talk nicely to it just because I'm like, yeah, water is alive. It, and, it is, uh, brother. It is. Yeah, it's amazing. So let me tell you what I think I discovered, Mark. And, and again, the world doesn't really know. I wish this guy was still alive today, which is Masaru Emoto, because I think that he missed one thing in his research. I don't think it's the water that's responding like everybody thinks it is. I don't think it's the water at all. I think it's the hydrogen within the water. And I can and I can and I believe I can prove it very easily. You see, if you take water and all this knowledge is going to come forth in the age of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius has to do with the knowledge of water. And ultimately, Aquarius means water, right? Or... That's right. And it's not just about the knowledge of water. It's about the knowledge of hydrogen because hydrogen is that which becomes water. Okay. And so ultimately water is made of two things. It's made of hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. Oxygen is actually death, as I said, because if you separate those two molecules, 
What happens to oxygen? Oxygen actually drops to the ground, just like a dead person. It's a, it's heavy, and it, and it's and it's not. And I told you, it 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 oxidizes. It kills things. To me, it's the death molecule. Is it, not not in a bad way because we need oxygen, but the death molecule. Hydrogen ascends, and it literally ascends so high it goes like back to the heavens, as we call it, or outer space. Okay. One's an oxidant. One's an antioxidant. Hydrogen ultimately is what I call, it's the life molecule. And life responds to life. Like if there is a horse and you yell at it, it's going to respond. If it's a dead horse and you yell at it, it doesn't respond. So the molecule that responds is the hydrogen molecule. So when you're praying to your water, talking to your water, which by the way, I feel like it's so obvious that what you're saying is real because think about it. Haven't you ever heard of people who talk to their plants? And the plants respond. And the Japanese have done numerous experiments with, experiments with this and rice by the way. And it does respond. I mean, I mean, it's real. It sounds crazy, right? I mean, it really does sound wacky, but it's the same thing with people. We're made of primarily water. If I say something mean to you, you're going to feel it. I mean, people react to even just one word these days, right? <laughs> people, you know, they hear one word and they all flip out. And so it, it really is real. And, and I believe that when you make the hydrogen, the gratitude, the words, you're actually enhancing the power of that water now. So now when you talk to that water, it's on another level as compared to just think normal just, water. Just, you know, extending this a little bit, you're, you know, the human body, like you said, is, you know, close to 80% water. So this goes to the, the absolute um, power of positive thinking or the, or the urgency, right, to take it seriously. Because if you're if you have negative dialogue, internal dialogue, or uh, you know negative emotional states, then essentially you're charging up the water in your body with all that yes. negative energy. And and you've Absolutely. seen the under the microscope, like the the structure of the water breaks down. It looks you know broken. Whereas yeah. if you talk to yourself positively, if you talk to water positively, it's it's great, these beautiful crystalline structures, like yeah. life, full of life. And so that's the power of positive thinking. Like if you are negative. Self-talk, you're literally weakening yourself and damaging your body through the water. And by the way, your body produces hydrogen, by the way. But what I, what I found in the, re the Japanese research is that as you age, you're making less and less of it. And I believe that this causes, I mean, there's a whole, you know, domino effect of things that it causes. But again, I think that health is not as complicated as we've made it out to be. And as I was saying, you know, hydrogen even, I know it's hard for me to talk about me saying that it's a spiritual molecule and that it's opened up my pineal gland and crazy stuff like that. But I have some of the craziest stuff, like some of the stuff that started coming to me, I just couldn't believe it. Like I literally have machines in my head to build that I'm like, what? I'm not an engineer, by the way. I'm, I, I, I don't even know where this stuff comes from. And some of the machines are to change the world of agriculture, change the world of medicine. I, there's a device in my head that I'm, supposed to build someday, I guess, um, that will prolong life. Like I'm talking like a human could live a thousand years and, um, and overcome, you know, any disease and, and just the craziest stuff. And that's when I started realizing like this stuff. See, I believe that all the knowledge, remember, remember what Masari Moto discovered about water. He said it has memory. And like I told you, I don't think it's the water that has a memory. I think it's the hydrogen that holds the keys. And that's where the age of Aquarius will bring on. Do you think we've with, already, you know, um, Entered the age of Aquarius? What's the what do the legends say? I've never really studied the age of Aquarius. I I have some familiarity with the um, the Indian system of the the yugas and the fact that we're kind of we're coming out of the we're at the tail end or we've already kind of left the Kali Yuga, which is the darkest of the yugas or the ages. And these yugas are all thousands of years long. But tell us about the Aquarius. I don't even research it really. That's what I mean. Is this all this stuff's been coming from the hydrogen? And so I don't even research. I don't read about it. All I know is that I believe we're just we're, we're we're just entering into it. And I've heard from people who do research this that it basically the ancient scriptures say that a golden age is coming. And I believe hydrogen is at the foundation of the golden age because we have to understand hydrogen is going to change the world of again medicine, you know, agriculture, energy. It, it it's going to change everything. Is hydrogen at the forefront of fusion energy research or where's the fusion energy? Well, I mean, it's like, look at the sun, right? I mean, right. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Hydrogen is, is the fundamental thing that we haven't realized, but we're going to realize this is what's coming. 
And this is what I mean. And, and, it, and the knowledge literally is within the hydrogen. So when you consume it, I noticed that my brain really, something started happening probably after about the three year mark. So it wasn't immediate for me, but I think it was happening subtly. I just wasn't noticing it. And I'm such a data guy and science guy. and I'm not a foo-foo kind of guy that it was really hard for me to really accept it at first. And after a while, I just couldn't deny it. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This is, you should see what it does to your blood, by the way. If my, on my video 68, all my videos are numbered. Literally what I, it's a live blood analysis. And then again, again, I had multiple doctors contact me about that live blood analysis because they're like, that's impossible. What you're showing there is not possible. And that's why when certain doctors see my blood work, they're just like, what in the world's going on here? Like they did a, um, by the way, well, hydrogen what's different is also, about it. Help us understand what's different about your blood. You know, so one thing that I can tell you about hydrogen is that, that affects the blood and the Japanese did a very interesting study on it is that it also appears to be anti-aging. So hydrogen, remember I told you, it's the life molecule. Of course it would be anti-aging, right? Like I didn't, like we don't put these two and two together. Um, probably the study that fascinated me the most, the Japanese apparently do this thing with blood. They do some interesting things with blood too, by the way. And obviously blood is primarily water. And they did this one where they took a guy and apparently they can take your blood and tell you roughly what your age is by looking all these you know things in your blood. And I'm not a blood expert, by the way, but so they can tell you roughly your age. And of course, if people are really bad health, you know, it really throws off the numbers. They took this guy in Japan and they said, look, what we're going to do with you is we don't want you to change anything in your lifestyle. You just keep living the way that you're living. The only thing that he implemented was a medical amount or, you know, like medical grade hydrogen. So that's the only thing that he did. And he, and he only did the water. He didn't even do my technique with inhalation in the water. All he did was the water. They tested his blood. One year later, they tested his blood again. And his blood was shown to be five years younger. So, you know, and, and I know with one of the techniques that I've been using um, that I created also, is a lot of people have trouble absorbing nutrients properly. I mean, this is a huge problem, no matter how many vitamins or whatever. And it's one of the things that a doctor had contacted me about too, because the average American, like almost everybody has some type of nutritional deficiency mark, like almost everybody. And I'm really big on overcoming nutritional deficiencies because when I wanted to find my way back to health, I knew in the scientific evidence that when you have a deficiency, it usually leads to something like a medical problem. And, and like one very simple example is like if you're deficient in vitamin C, we know that that leads to scurvy. Well, what fixes scurvy? Vitamin C. Like just, That's all you got to do. This is how simple it is. This is what I mean about health. It's not super complicated. We can make it complicated, but the, I like to simplify things. So I went after every nutritional deficiency. I wanted to make sure, and I wanted to create something very simple to be able to overcome every nutritional deficiency that I have. And so when I did that, that's when I wanted to do blood work to make sure which nutritional deficiency I might have so that I could overcome it and, and really bring my body to where it should be, right? And I realized that hydrogen was helping me with the absorption of nutrients, because you'd be surprised some of the stuff I was doing, even it's controversial. So I don't like to talk about my the diet thing, but I was doing certain things dietarily that technically shouldn't work. And even my doctor was like, when she saw that I had no nutritional deficiencies and she said, how are you doing this? And then when she started asking me how I ate, she said, that's impossible. She goes, it's not possible. I said, lady, I've been doing it for years. And she just could not believe it because her daughter, this was another person who had a sick daughter, she had certain issues with her iron deficiency. And she's like, I can't figure out. She goes, we're giving her supplements. We're having her eat certain weight. And she goes, we can't get her levels right. Hydrogen has everything to do with your gut, by the way, and your gut and your microbiome affects everything. And hydrogen is amazing for the gut. I've literally seen people who have like Crohn's disease, celiac disease, all sorts of different gut issues. And I've worked with them. I've worked with people who spent, I'm not kidding you, they've spent years and many thousands of dollars trying to fix their gut issues. They did hydrogen for six months, boom, their, their gut was fine and they were like, they couldn't believe it. I still remember their testimonials because I get a lot of emails and calls from people, you know, who they just had their personal miracle and they're like, dude, this is amazing. And I'm like, I know, <laughs> like the world's gonna find out about it someday, but, but you know, look at the scientific evidence. Again, read the data, don't take my word for it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to do uh, do some research and um, check out some of your videos. So where where um, do you like people go to your YouTube channel, or do you have a website, or where do we learn more about the science and you know the tools? So I don't have I do not have a website because I'm doing all this on a shoestring budget. It's just me and an iPhone, and I just put the stuff out on YouTube. You know, it's all free. All the information's out there. The name of the channel is Uprising 144K because Uprising, as you know, the like the hydrogen rises up. And uh, 144K is um, the children of light, because hydrogen, by the way, is light. And 144,144K spoken of in ancient scriptures. I don't know if you know about all that, but 12 tribes of 12,000 equals 144,000. Anyway, I'm a wacky guy. <laughs> <laughs> As long as you're, as long as you're clear that you're wacky, that's good. <laughs> you're, not trying, I, I know. you're not wacky trying to be, be uh, non-wacky. Hi, Mark Devine here from SealFit. After two years of development, I'm super stoked to announce the launch of SealFit supplements and our first product, SealFit Electro Greens. This is the highest quality organic greens you can find, combined with electrolytes into one powerful supplement. Take with eight ounces of water in the morning, or add to your smooth smoothie to get your day kicked off with the proper nutritional supplementation and hydration support and you can also use it as a pick-me-up booster during the day or after a workout it dissolves immediately and believe it or not it tastes great i've had many testimonials already saying it's the best tasting greens that they have ever tried so hoo ya sealfitsupplements.com or you can find it on amazon by searching for sealfit electro greens hoo ya let's do this divine out That is delicious. That's <laughs> awesome, Greg. Uh, this conversation has been really much more interesting than I expected. Um, and I'm, I'm curious to learn more, right? Because, again, an Occam's razor, if it's the simplest explanation, it's usually the right explanation. And when it comes to health, I agree with you. It all comes back to you know homeostatic balance. If you're in balance, right, which means you don't have all those free radicals floating around, then you're going to be healthy. And, of course, you know, eating, eating well, like you said, thinking positively, all that stuff is important. But, man, if, if you have a secret weapon like just adding more hydrogen to your system, yeah. why wouldn't you do it, right? But it's not as simple as just one glass of water or something. You need to know proper levels, proper protocols, even the way properly way to make it. That's the one thing that scares me, this stuff that China's putting out. I mean, it really scares me. I've... I've um, I've seen some some bad stuff, and I look at the the lab reports of products out there, and and it's it's scary. I mean, and that just, that doesn't just go for hydrogen; that goes for a lot of other products too. But hydrogen, maybe it's just because I'm so hyper focused on it and became an expert. It's like really, really bad. I hate so to say that, but the two the two devices. If someone is already sold on this, don't even need to do any research. It was my pure water for the purification, right? Is yeah, mypurewater.com. Mypurewater.com. And what about the uh, hydrogen device? The hydrogen is the holyhydrogen.com website. Holyhydrogen.com. The official site, and uh, obviously, I I would only go to the official site. I even found, so China realized that this was the number one machine in Japan. They're making the best stuff. And they literally tried to copy it and they literally have models that look, they look almost identical, but when people start using them, they have problems. And I've had people email me and I thought it was weird. So I, I contacted the company and said, Hey, why is this happening? And when they got the serial number, they said, that's not even a real machine. That's not one of ours. So that's when, so it's, it's a, hydrogen is a wacky world right now. It's, it's the wild, wild west, you know, but you said something very interesting, Mark. I just wanted to touch on it because it's actually a really good point. And it's part of my hypothesis about hydrogen too, is the, it brings homeostasis, it brings balance back to the body. And if you have too much, so some people say, oh, can you get too much hydrogen? If you get too much hydrogen, that's what you're exhaling, by the way. That's one of the ways they measure how much hydrogen your body produces through the exhale of your breath. And so you're, you're literally off-gassing any hydrogen that you don't potentially need. So the truth is it's actually pretty hard to get the levels that you really need and it just really seems to bring this everything back into balance and so that was a uh, really well said because that's exactly what it seems to do with the human body is just bring balance to it again but i will i should caution people just be really cautious if you have certain medical issues like again blood pressure diabetes you know just certain or, or you're on pharmaceuticals because i'm not kidding you I've, I've warned people and they don't listen and then they realize later what's going on hydrogen works so good that you will literally see your blood pressure drop. And let's say you're on blood pressure medicine, it drops too low. 
So then you need to start modifying your medicine because eventually what's going to happen, at least from what I've seen, people eventually start getting off pharmaceuticals because things start working right again. And so you have to be cautious because if you're taking medicine to lower your blood glucose and hydrogen ends up lowering it even too much, now you have too low blood glucose. And so you, you really to have to make have sure- have a titration plan to get off of the pharmaceuticals. Yeah, make sure you consult your physician, right? Consult your doctor, you know, and um, monitor your numbers. And um, if you're going to be using hydrogen properly, then uh, definitely watch out for that because I hate to see anybody have any anything bad happen. But I love to see people get off their pharmaceuticals and I love to see the testimonials. And the, I really... Is that the only contraindication, by the way, is like the it could disrupt the Western pharmacological intervention? I mean, there's nothing else. Is there anything else we need to be concerned about? That's the only thing that I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen, uh, gosh, I've seen some crazy things. Like um, I got a great story about a guy who smoked like three packs of cigarettes a day for 50 years, <laughs> this poor guy. Um, and so, you know, the only other side effects you see are positive ones. Like the blood really begins to, because we're already breathing in roughly 20% oxygen. So one thing I've noticed that hydrogen actually helps with the absorption of oxygen too, that you're already breathing in. So that's why I've seen people who have had trouble. This is really wacky people who've had trouble with oxygen saturation levels in their blood because they have problems with their health, they always think like, why would hydrogen help? And there's no oxygen. They, they, they think they need to supplement oxygen. I'm like, no, you're already breathing in enough oxygen. It's the body that's not working right. You get hydrogen, all of a sudden, I've seen their, their O2 levels go up. And uh, so just crazy stuff like that. But that would probably, the contraindications I mentioned are mostly pharmaco uh, you know, pharmacological ones where people are on pharmaceutical drugs and I've seen, I've seen a ton of people get off of them. And also, um, this is not necessarily a bad thing, but people who are overweight. So it's been really wacky too. I don't know if you've seen the, science, the latest data on this, but when you're overweight, it actually, the, the latest data shows that it confuses the body. The body literally starts acting like it's under attack, almost like an autoimmune uh, disorder. And then that really disrupts mitochondrial function and how the metabolism even works. And so people have a hard time losing weight once they get, you know, they're overweight and they're like, I can't seem to lose weight. Well, I started noticing this pattern with multiple people. And I even put out a video about a testimonial of this lady. She started using hydrogen. She started losing weight like pretty quickly. And because it started regulating her metabolism again, some of the first research on hydrogen was on how it helped fix the mitochondrial function, you know, which is extremely important. And so, and they've, there's a lot of research, by the way, on um, cancer too. People really should look into that too. There's so much, I mean, we're talking about, I think almost roughly 200 diseases, um, different medical conditions that hydrogen has been shown to be potentially, you know, effective for. And um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been really wild. So I encourage people to read about it. And, and then of course, please learn how to use it right. Don't try to do some crazy wacky stuff out there because in my opinion, it can be it can be harmful for you. Like, you know, just keep it simple. Um, well, that's what so. I was asking you about with the contraindications. Like what, what could you, what harm could come if you use it improperly? Well, when I say use it improperly, what I really mean is making hydrogen incorrectly. I am not a fan of the, the again, just Chinese products. I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of hydrogen pills. Believe it or not, they sell hydrogen pills out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I am not a fan of those. Um, everything they do, in my opinion, don't line up with hydrogen properly. Hydrogen's pH neutral. The pills make the water super acidic. Um, hydrogen is odorless, colorless, and tasteless. When you drop the pills, it smells like crap, it tastes like crap, and it looks <laughs> gray and, and tastes like metal, actually. And, um, Interesting. And I've seen the lab reports on them. I'm not going to make any claims because they've already gone after me, too. Um, I'll just say that after what I saw in the lab reports, I'm just thinking, why in the world would you put this in your body? for health, like it doesn't make any sense to me, right? Because one pattern that you're gonna notice about what I do, Mark, is everything's about purity. Ironically, the name of the website I found, because I, I look for the best, it's called My Pure Water, right? So they have the word purity. When, uh, for hydrogen, the word holy, like holy hydrogen means to be pure, actually. And then, um, and then the only other product that I really like is from a company called Purium. Um, which is another, and they're really high on purity too. I think it's called ishoppurium.com. And I, I, there's a, I like the product called Power Shake. It's literally just food in a powder form. And I use that for my nutritional deficiencies. That's literally, I don't take vitamins. I actually use this food powder because the data again, clearly shows that the body responds better to food rather than some pill. 
And so I'm always following the data and I apply it to see if it works. And it's worked so much better than I would have ever dreamed of. And so I appreciate you having me on and we could share this with people. I hope if it just helps one person out there, it was worth yeah. it. So oh, I really it's been it. fascinating. I, uh, I really appreciate it, Greg. I appreciate the work you're doing and the, the mission that you stumbled into. Keep it up. It's pretty interesting. And um, yeah, I'm going to investigate it myself. Like uh, I came into this conversation as a skeptic. Now I'm more curious. I'm curious. Like, wait, that, uh, that sounds pretty interesting. So we're going to check it out. Uh, again, thanks so much for your time, Greg. And um, I'd love to follow up, you know, uh, stay in touch, brother. Absolutely. All right. Thanks for having me, Mark. I appreciate it. Well, that was a fascinating discussion with Greg, the hydrogen man, learning all about the benefits of hydrogen. I'm going to check it out myself. Um, it sounds too good to be true, but man, the Japanese are really on it. And um, if there's over a couple thousand studies, I'm going to research that because this could be really powerful healing uh, juju. So we want to get on it and really learn the powerful benefits of hydrogen. And uh, thanks again for joining me today. Thank you so much for my incredible team, Jet Studios and Catherine Devine and Streamline Media, who will bring this show to you and our newsletter, Divine Inspiration, to you every week. If you're not on my subscriber list for Divine Inspiration, go to markdevine.com to subscribe. You'll also find the show notes for the show at the website. And you can find us on Instagram, social media, all that kind of stuff. Uh, once again, I appreciate your time and attention. Thank you so much for your support of the Mark Divine Show. Till next time, this is your host, Mark Divine. Hoo-yah. 